What's up guys, Bobo the Pyro out and about hitting up firework tents. Um, just checking them out, man. But real quick, I wanna do a, a little video on what I would consider, I guess, pyro etiquette, man. And that is regarding noise items, okay? Everybody knows what I'm talking about. So here's the deal. Just recently, the CPSC put out a, a list of their banned items. Now, I don't know if they do this every year, if they, they always maintain this list, but because it's near the 4th of July, I've seen it all over the big news sites. It's on Fox News, it's on CNN, it's in some of our local print um, sites and our, our, print, our uh, websites, and I don't know if it's a newspaper or not. Nobody really reads newspapers anymore, but it's out there in the media, the, this, um, this uh, ban list. So I went to, and of course I will link it. So what surprised me about the list itself, I went to the list and it contained, um, I wanna say about 15 different products. And it was all products, um, it was basically just pictures of the wraps. Only one, only one product had the manufacturer name on there. Everything else was just pictures of the wraps. So that's why me personally, anything I have that is questionable, I never ever put it on video. I don't show it. Nothing. I rarely ever even allude to it. Here goes the TNT. Here goes the TNT tent up here. Uh, I, I don't stop in any obviously any TNT tents because of for for, for moral obligations and, and you shouldn't either. But anyways, um, that's why I, I you know when you see these um, guys posting up stuff, and a, and a lot of pyros don't know better. I'm not mad at people, you know, who post this stuff up because, you know, a lot of dudes get their stuff and they get some crazy bangers and they're excited and want to tell people about them, not realizing that, hey, you know, you really shouldn't put that out there. So if you see some videos like that, offer some su suggestions on, you know, hey, man, you might want to, you know, cover that up or take the wrap off or whatever, you know, because, um, they, they, you know, they are out there. The CPSC is out there. Uh, you know the fun police, and they're they're doing everything they can to knock off, uh, you know the 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 quote unquote good stuff, right? So uh, you know, like I said, there's no indication that, that that any of this information was released because of a video, and I don't think it was. I think it was all due to injuries and 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 traced back to several fireworks stores or the importers or whatever, and that's how it got out there. But check it out. Tell me what you guys think. You know, let's all let's all be on our security. And uh, make sure that uh, you know we keep we keep certain things under wraps. Um, moving along, firework tent season. Like I said earlier, I'm out and about um, checking out uh, checking out some different tents. And uh, first one I went into was at uh, it wasn't it wasn't bad. I would say it was probably pretty standard tent prices. You know, like uh, their, their premium shell kits. They had like Excals, Diablos. You know, they had the um, some of the. Uh, some of the G forces. They had their normal their normal premium shell kits and they were selling them for, for 90 bucks, which is about what I would expect from a tent. Not nothing nothing surprising there. The only the only thing that really surprised me with this they had a, a very large assortment by Mega Banger. I, I the and the, the way I would I would class this assortment was it was like it's called the Mammoth. It's like Mega Banger's answer to the um to the Max by Brothers or to the Gorilla Box by Red Apple. Very similar assortment, just a huge assortment, but they wanted 1200 bucks for it. I'm like, dude, what? But you know, the guy was, the guy was actually really cool, man. And uh, I'm like, dude, 1200 bucks. Wow. That's, you know, I'm not, I'm not in there like, well, you can get the Brothers for 300. You can get the Max for 300 bucks from Red Apple. I don't, I don't do that. I just, you know, kind of play like I'm the lay person and I just, you know, ask what their prices are and stuff, you know, and ask what kind of deals they got going. Um, and the guy said they'll, you know, they throw in a couple, probably a couple more 500 grammers, a little e-firing system. I'm sure one of the little cheap Chinese systems we all use, you know. So that that's the type of stuff. But yeah, that 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 price took me aback. Everything else, the prices looked, um, like I said, pretty pretty standard. I did get a little tiny bit of footage. I'll I'll, I'll link it, throw it in the end of the video. I, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a very big tent. I, you know, generally me, I'll just look at the K, the you know, the prices for canister shells, and then I'll keep them moving. And that's what I did. But also, whenever I go to these stores. I'm in there bothering people and quizzing them for like 10 minutes. And, you know, obviously if there's no other customers, I always buy some little stuff, man. I'll grab a couple smoke bombs, you know, for my son or whatever, you know, grab some, uh, some ground blooms, just some little cheap stuff. So I'm not completely wasting their time, but I'm not about to spend more than 10 bucks in a store like that. You know, just, just keeping it, keeping it hundred percent real. Um, so look, that's all I got, man. Um, everybody be safe. Watch out for those uh, watch out for those sneaky snakes from the uh, CPSC and uh, I'm gonna catch you guys soon. Peace.
The okay. mammoth, okay. mega banger. Too bad because you're allowed to discharge some Diablo shells. Oh. Yeah, Ninety bucks. What are the X cals going for? Uh, Ninety. Okay. Sure, here. I mean, pricey, but not the worst I've ever seen. I want one of these smokes. Okay, go put it on the counter. That's a nice assortment. That's marvelous by legend.